Alan Weber from the mayor's office, Monday morning. Good to see you all. Monday afternoon, it's just at noon. Uh, part of a national day of mourning and lament. Um, as you see, we're still wearing our face coverings. We're still using hand sanitizer. We're still practicing social distancing. We're still trying to stay six feet apart. We're seeing some openings of restaurants. You can sit inside now, but remember, it only works if we stay safe. We can reopen if we stay safe. That's the Santa Fe promise. Safe, open, together. Wear a face mask, use the hand sanitizer. Uh, over the weekend, we had three new cases on Saturday, two new cases on Sunday. Uh, we're up to 142 for the uh, Santa Fe County total cases. We have to make sure we don't see a second wave of infection. And with that, I want to take a minute and memorialize where we are. Um, all over the country right now, in cities all over America, uh, there is a national day of mourning and lament. Mayors, faith leaders, you know, people of all walks of life are saying, let's pause and think about the last 10, 11 weeks that we've gone through. And I have a proclamation. I'm going to actually take a minute and read it to you because I think we, we do need to reflect on just what a toll uh, COVID-19 has taken uh, on the lives of people we know and love, on our community. Um, and we need to we really need to dedicate ourselves to remembering them and committing ourselves to coming out of this together and strong and resilient. Uh, this is a proclamation from the office of the mayor. Whereas the world is suffering from a pandemic caused by COVID-19, a virus which has caused the deaths of over 100,000 people in the United States alone, and whereas, the, and whereas, as the United States Conference of Mayors President Brian K. Barnett, Mayor of Rochester Hills, Michigan says, it is difficult to truly comprehend the magnitude of our collective loss. The virus has taken so much from so many, permanently altering lives and leaving such wreckage in its wake. And whereas while we pause to honor the dead and support the families who have lost their loved ones, we must also try to see the light around us. We must recognize those in our communities who continue to fight to keep us all safe. The healthcare providers, first responders, and scores of essential workers. They continue to work tirelessly under unimaginable circumstances, never wavering in their commitment to ease our struggle and pain. And whereas this pandemic has taken much from us, but it has also delivered a renewed spirit of community. The virus has tried to tear us down, but we have rallied around our common humanity to help one another. In the days and months ahead, mayors across this great nation will do all that they can to help our communities recover and heal. And whereas we in Santa Fe will face this challenge with faith, with compassion, with respect for all, and with an indomitable spirit of community, and whereas we will come through the challenges of today stronger, more resilient, and more united than ever, now, therefore, I, Alan M. Weber, Mayor of the City of Santa Fe, New Mexico, do hereby proclaim Monday, June 1, 2020, as National Day of Mourning and Lament. I know I've lost friends to COVID-19. I suspect you have too. And we should take a minute and hold them in our memory and in our hearts. And we should continue to be mindful of those who are sick right now, who are in our hospitals, who are in the intensive care units getting all the medical care our community can provide. We know there have been parts of our state, parts of our community that have been hit much harder than others. We know that the Native community has been very hard hit. Navajo Nation, very hard hit. We know that 
across America, the African American community in many cities, the the Hispanic community in other cities have been really very hard hit, and and it's a reflection of life lifelong and historic injustices that now are manifested by this COVID-19. It's COVID-19 that has brought back to the radar screen the fact that we need to recommit ourselves to the care, the well-being, the equality, the justice, the opportunity, the inclusivity of everyone in our society. So think about the people you care about. Think about the people you want to keep safe. It doesn't take much to make a little difference in the lives of everyone. You know, a mask, a mask doesn't keep, my wearing this mask doesn't keep me safe, it keeps you safe. When you wear a mask, you keep me safe. It's a gesture of respect for those around us. Simply to put on a little cloth face covering and keep others around you safe. It says, I'm part of a community that cares part of a community that's mourning those we've lost, lamenting those we've lost, but trying to save everyone who's still with us. So do the right thing. Wear a face covering. Use a little bit of hand sanitizer when you go out and when you come back. Wash your hands. Practice social distancing. Really stay safe. This is so important uh, as we reopen. It's also important that we reflect a minute on the sad news that's going around America. There was a tragic murder in Minneapolis. It's not the first of an innocent African-American person. It's a trigger for decades, generations of racism, bias, intolerance, and violence. And now cities around the country are in flame. And it is true that violence often creates more violence. It doesn't solve any problem. It is simply an expression of fear and anger and anguish and not knowing how to use those emotions constructively. Here in Santa Fe, Friday night and last night, we had constructive demonstrations. We had engagement. We had dialogue and conversation. And we will continue to have those conversations going forward. We will try as a city to remember our diversity as a community and commit ourselves to respect and inclusivity and opportunity for everyone. Here in Santa Fe, our history teaches us that the only way we all do better is when we all do better, when we reach out to each other in love and compassion and understanding. That's Santa Fe. That's our history. It's how we solve problems. It's how we help each other as families, as friends, and as a community. Uh, This is going to be a long process to heal from COVID-19, to overcome the financial impact of COVID-19, to come to terms with the racism and injustice that is now engulfing America. It's not the first time we've seen this kind of engagement and violence and urban uh, 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 violence in the streets, looting, and demonstrations that start peaceful. We hope they stay peaceful. I think expressing anger is completely appropriate. committing ourselves to doing better is also appropriate and important to recognize history and to hold ourselves accountable for the future. So I am, uh, I am here for all conversations, all dialogue, all constructive engagement. I want our city to set an example for peaceful and important expressions of concern for peaceful and important conversations about how we do better. Please let me know what you're thinking. Send me an email. Uh, Let me know how you think Santa Fe can do better, what we need to do to reach out to everyone in our community and make them 
feel welcome, appreciated, respected, uh, honored, and included. Uh, please take care of each other. Please remember that COVID-19 isn't beyond or past us. We're still in the middle of it. We have not yet reached the end. And so it's still important to stay safe from COVID-19, to find our way forward as we reopen the economy, and to find our way forward as, a, as we commit ourselves and recommit ourselves to being a community of justice, of inclusivity, of equity, and of respect for all. Well, thanks for tuning in. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Please keep the peace. And I'll see you next time. Take care.